Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Have a look at them now. the whistle and here we go so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture it has to be the brains of the operation Tony Kroos he's another one of the elite passers in world football and his consistency remains high at, at both club and international level and one of the first picks in the team he would be the obvious choice wouldn't he he certainly has all the right qualities and it's Danny Alves Good challenge, he just stood firm. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good clearance and very necessary. Di Maria tries to get it forward quickly. Cavani, and he's made certain that won't get through. Castore, Kuzawa, Neymar, wonderful quick feet, Cavani, shoots, in for the follow-up, goal, Paris Saint-Germain, the breakthrough strike, and that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Madrid trail at this early stage. How will they respond? And it's Cavani. Rafael Varan sticks in a foot to win it back. Rafael Varan very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Daniel Carvajal pumps it forwards. It will be a throw in. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Modric. Here's a clever pass. Daniel Alves pumps it upfield. Now it's Cavani. And it's Neymar. Cavani. Rafael Varane. Real Madrid have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. 
Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Cavani, Neymar, can he find a finish now? It's a loose ball. Right place, right time. Um, it was just as well the defender was on hand to, uh, to mop it up. Rafael Varane. It's going to be another throw. Aimed long and direct. Sergio Ramos plays it out to the wing. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Marquinhos gets it back. He certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. forward and he showed him a clean pair of heels his decision making really is what led him down more than anything else Bale passes it through Benzema plays it backwards and they'll try again Modric really struggling to influence the game well he appears to be singled out here as the enemy number one and, and he's the one that they're looking to get to first and I think they think if they get to him then they're probably going to stop the main threat so I think um, they've got to come up with a, a fresh idea to, to combat that. Marcelo beats the offside trap. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Spoon forward. Now it's Neymar. Di Maria. It's Cavani! Ball's loose, who's getting there? Played out to the right. Towering header! And the half-time whistle goes. Would you look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, you can debate, Peter, whether they deserve a slightly bigger lead because they've created the majority of the chances but they are in front for a reason, and they'll be confident of, of cementing that from now. Paris Saint-Germain head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Here's the start of the second half. Paris Saint-Germain carry a one-goal lead into the second half. It's a throw. Wasted towards the area. He's got the final touch there. Goal kick's been given. Oh, he's broken through. Neymar. Neymar! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, there wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot. It was worth a try from there. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung-ho, and only a goal will do for them. Neymar. Oh, he's found him in space. Gorgeous from Cavani. Two to the good. They have breathing space an exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss
Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Rabio. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. They're certainly trying to wind him up in the process, Peter. And it's Neymar. Rafael Varane. Marco Verratti battles to win it back. Marcelo. Looks like a good ball through. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Paris Saint-Germain didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. Daniel Alves. Marcelo does well there. Alert. The referee's awarded a free kick. Sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. Well, what was required then was a little more patience. He didn't have to cross it so early. Who's going to make this theirs? Benzema. It's Benzema! It's come loose. Paris Saint-Germain hasn't yet dipped into their subs. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. <laughs> Spoon forward. In truth, he was probably a tad selfish then. There were more options about. Di Maria. Isco knocks it away. Out wide to the right. Bale tries making a foray down the right. was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Good offside that time. I'm not sure about that call, you know, but we get to see replays. Isco looks to dink one in. In comes the corner. Ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Out to the left it goes, and it's Marcelo. They've won a corner. Referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence.
ball. Who's going to get there? Varane. Di Maria set up one goal so far. And here's the chance to counter. Now it's Di Maria. Aim forward. He goes long. Now it's Bale. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. That is wayward. Marco Verratti. Pushes it out wide. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. <laughs> Over hits and out of play. Pastore. Kuzawa. Neymar is looking up for options on the left. Pastore. It's a loose ball. And that will be the final act. Paris Saint-Germain have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, if you can find a weakness, Peter, then it's a case of exploiting it to the full. And they realised the spine of this team wasn't so strong, and time after time they used it to their advantage, and it paid off. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.